shapes A and B below are made from rectangles. For what value of X are the shapes A and B the same? So this is shape A and this is shape B. And they're saying they have the same area. They look different, but the area is same. So the area of this, area of this would be this length times this width. That is simple. But here, if you look at this, this is an irregular shape. So if this is X, if this much is X, okay, so let me make it a slightly. If this is X, if this is X, this is also going to be X because this is 2x. If this is 2x and if this is x, this has to be x. Same way, if this is 2x, this is 2x and this is x, this has also to be x. Now basically this is if you think about if you cut this, suppose if you make a, if you draw this square the area of this square is going to be x squared. Okay, because x times x is x squared. But if you consider, so let me use a darker color. If you consider this triangle, or this is basically a square. This is a square of 2x by 2x. Okay, so this whole blue square is going to be 4x squared. So b is basically from the blue square, if you remove this square, the area of B is going to be 3x squared. Okay, so what we are saying is, you can say 3x squared, which is area of B, is equal to, so let me use a white color, uh, I'll write it again, 3x squared, which is the area of B, is equal to the area of A, which is x plus 2.75 so again you can pause this video and try to do this yourself 5.5 then basically you have to make a quadratic and solve for x so this becomes 3x squared is equal to x squared x times x is going to be x squared plus x times 5.5 is 5.5x plus 2.75 And plus 2.75 times 5.5 uh, is 15.125. You can do that on a calculator. So you can simplify this. So this is 3x squared is equal to x squared plus 5.5 plus 2.75 is 8.25x plus 15.125. Now, making it quadratic, it will become, make, making it quadratic, this will become 3x squared minus x squared minus 8.25x minus 15.125 is equal to 0. So, this simplifies to 2x squared minus 8.25x minus 15.125 is equal to 0. Now use a quadratic formula or you, you can use the calculator if you're allowed. So you can uh, go to equation again, go to equation, uh, polynomial and second degree and then type in the quad A is 2, B is minus 8.25, and C is 15.125 and that will solve the equation solve okay what have I done okay minus okay so this is should be minus I should have put minus 15.125 yes and then solve Yes, so the answer is, so you can't have a negative answer. So the answer, you should write both the answers and then you have to explain. So x is, x is 5.5, .5, 1, 2, 3, 
or x is equal to minus 3.175. But then you have to say bet, but x should be greater than 0. So x should be 5.5. So let's check whether the answer makes sense. And that's the real part of learning. Always check your answer. So if you put 5.5 here, So if you put 5.5 here, if you put 5.5 in this equation, so this is going to be 5.5 plus 2.75. Okay, and this will be 5.5 plus 5.5, which is this is going to be how much? Uh, 5 plus 2, 7, so it will be 8.25 and times this is going to be 11 okay 5.5 .5 plus this is and this would be 3 times 3 times 5.5 .5 squared so let me get my calculator so the area should be the same so let's go to run so let me put this in the bracket so 5.5 .5 plus 2.75 times 5.5 plus 5.5 okay that is 90.75 and if I go 3 times 5.5 squared that should also give you the same area 90.75 so your answer is right